Today I'm going to show you a fun and inexpensive way to make art with little to no skill needed. A couple weeks ago we were running a workshop with a friend's marketing class and teaching them how to do collage and giving them the experience to just practice it and play around with it and it was super fun and I was going to make a video of that anyway so I figured I'd make a tutorial for you guys on the basics of how to do collaging. The beauty of collaging is you barely need any materials, you probably don't even need to spend any money, you should be able to find everything you need in your house. So let's get into it. So what you're going to need is a surface maybe that you can cut on, some content and some material that you're going to be cutting pictures out of, so that could be magazines, old books, newspapers, anything you want to cut up that you can find around the house. You'll probably want some paper to stick your pictures to on the back to hold them. Uh, you'll need something to cut with, scissors or knives. I really like razor blades. Uh, you'll also need glue or tape or chewing gum, anything to make it stick. So that's what you're going to need to start your collaging. Alright, now it's time to just start cutting. My favorite thing to use is just a straight razor blade. Um, you might be more comfortable with a regular razor blade inside its thing, or you can rip it or cut it with scissors, do whatever you want. So this is where the creative process really begins. And this is why it's such so much fun and why it's such a beauty to do collaging because as you go through the book and you just look for things that catch your attention and seem interesting, I find that you just start to accumulate a pile. And as this pile of little bits and pieces that uh, originally seemed completely random, you'll start to maybe pick up on ways to put them together. Your brain will actually start to maybe tell you a story about different things or the way that elements can, can be combined. And for me, I find that the cutting process is just really relaxing and I get into it and sometimes I just cut and cut and cut and cut and end up with a giant pile of stuff and don't even bother putting it together right away but I just keep it on hand for another time later but yeah so just just cut until either you find some pieces that you want to put together or cut and pile up a whole bunch again there, there's so much freedom there's really nothing you can do wrong you you just go with what your guts tell you. Follow your guts. After you get a nice pile of elements cut out of your, your material, now it's time to start sticking them together. So after you get a bunch of different elements piled up, a bunch of different pieces, you might already have noticed something that you want to put together as you've been cutting things out and that's great and you can start putting it together or maybe you have no idea and so you just got to start slapping things down start putting stuff on the paper and, and arranging it seeing what feels good I know that when you maybe when you're doing it for your first time you feel like you want to put so much stuff in and so much together but often simplicity and just trying to use at the smallest amount of elements to convey the most meaning uh, works best. But again, it's all practice and, and that's the, the beauty of it is you have all these different pieces and you just practice putting them together and think like, does this look good? Does, is, does this look like something? And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I mean, it's, again, you're, you're practicing your own style, you're practicing composition, you're, you're practicing storytelling, you're practicing conveying thoughts that are inside of yourself, maybe even just reflecting on what's going on inside yourself. And some things work, some things don't. And then what I, what I find actually the most difficult is the gluing things together, because you gotta, you kind of lay it out and then after you lay it out, you, you're looking at it and you're like, oh, now how do I glue it? You want to glue the back layers first and you want to get them lined up nicely. And, and so that can take a little bit of practice and be frustrating, but don't worry. Uh, however it comes out, it's basically free and you can do it. You can try over and over again and, and keep doing it for fun. Flower girl. Uh, Got that 
divine creativity, the childlike playfulness and freedom, mixing with the creation of God. That's kind of what I'm thinking about. That's all there is to it. I'm going to whip up a couple more for you guys since I got this pile of stuff I'm working with and I'm doing it. Let me know what you think. Shark boy. I'm going to be struggling with some addictions, coffee addiction, trying to act like it's all cool. The forlorn abysmal pit. I don't know, sometimes they just come out a little dark, a little humorous. I have to sit on this one for a bit. So that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just remember to have fun. I hope it inspires you to try something. As an added bonus, I'm gonna be giving away these three pieces to the first three people to comment on the video below. Thanks again so much for watching and hope you guys have an amazing day. If you wanna see more stuff like this or have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to, to ask me and let me know. Bye.